Hey guys, how's it going? Um, Joseph here, back with another uh, vlog. It's not really an install today, but um, today uh, I'm going to be gutting my catalytic converter. Uh, I'm doing this because it's the stuff inside is just rattling around and it's really making an annoying noise. So yeah, but before we get to that, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning right now, but I'm going to cook myself some breakfast first and then we can park the car outside and get started. Let's get this done. Well, it's a simple breakfast, but it'll do. You gotta go buy some more food later, though. More ingredients to cook dinner, so yeah. Bon appetit. Getting my car all wet in the process of watering the plants. All right, guys, we're finally outside. Um, like I said, we're gonna be gutting the catalytic converter on my car today just so that the the all the this I forgot ceramic whatever that's inside stop jingling around and uh, uh, Making a bunch of unwanted noise while I'm driving and yeah, this is um, how to be a riser episode one <laughs> All right, let's get this car jacked up So the part of the exhaust we need to get out, there's going to be three 14 millimeter bolts and uh, two 12 millimeter bolts. The two 12 millimeters are going to be the ones that go from the headers to the the downpipe to the cat, and then the four uh, the three 14 millimeter bolts are the ones that go from the cat to the resonator. So, got the tools right here. Let's go. You guys are not going to believe it, but 
because I didn't believe it, but I took a look inside, and there's no, there's no, the cat doesn't, there's, it, it's empty. There's nothing in it. There's, I thought that the, the stuff was, the cat has nothing inside of it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. There's nothing inside. I, I was gonna gut out the cat today, but there's already nothing inside. Like, I could see light through the other end. If the sun's shining that way, I could see. All right, so I'm gonna take this flashlight and put it on the ground. And I'm gonna put the cat or the piping right up next to it. Okay, now you should be able to see a light. You can see that light in there, right? I shouldn't be able to see that because there's supposed to be like a ceramic inside the cat in the way, but oh my gosh. Did all of it just fly out the exhaust or something? Like what happened here? Because this is literally like the only pipe that's connected to my. All right, so the, since there is no cat, well, essentially there is no cat. This is basically a straight or a test pipe. Oh my God. Um, I guess to get rid of my engine code, I mean, this is possibly why the the defiler I have on here is currently not working is because there's nothing like nothing filtering out at all this is a tiny 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 defiler I have on here right now so I'm gonna go get my better defilers right here I'm gonna pick that up and we're gonna I guess we're just gonna put those on and find something else to do Stand And because I'm a Honda boy, what else better to do than live out that 5% of ricer in me? Other people will say it's 100% ricer, but I don't care, Myron. So I'm going to do a cold start on open headers <laughs> because you have to do it. If you own a Honda, you're going to do this at some point in time. Like You're going to do it, so let's do it. Can you guys see that now? Just a hole from the header, so. I'm probably gonna do it for like five seconds only. It's gonna be so loud. I just, I just had to hear it. When you go inside there and that thing is up, it's like might fall. It will not fall. Joseph, always think of safety. I am. That's why it's on all four jack stands. All right. So it may not have sounded loud on camera, but dude, it was really loud, like ear piercing loud, like in the concrete driveway, like this narrow. And my mom came out and she got mad. So I hope the neighbors aren't mad. I know it'll, you guys will never be able to hear how loud it was. Oh my god. It's the camera doesn't do justice, but that was pretty bad. Um so I'm, I'm going to go put my exhaust back on. All right. <clears throat> I made a run to O'Reilly's, but I didn't film it because I wasn't thinking. I wasn't using my head cuz there is currently no gasket on this part of the exhaust. There's a gasket on this end but not on that end. 
and all my power steering fluid is leaking. That's bad. All right, well, just the everyday Honda problems. So yeah, on the other end of that pipe, it attaches to there, but there's no gasket. So let's install that gasket. changed I had two layers of sweater on this one's too hot so all right so now that we've got the downpipe all back up in there <clears throat> there's no cat it's just a hollow metal tube I got the exhaust gasket for the flange installed and I have the defouler installed as well so yeah now let's turn on the car and see what it sounds like So basically power steering fluid's leaking all over from my car. I always have to refill it, you know. I haven't found the issue yet. I might just go electronic power steering because it'll just be easier. I don't have to keep pouring fluid and worrying about it falling out. Now, so the solution here, you can see that, that brownish, that's the color of the power steering fluid, Dawn dish soap, because dish soap does amazing stuff when you're trying to get rid of grease. So I'm gonna start mixing it in and then we're gonna blast it away with a pressure washer. <laughs> Alright, now it's time to pressure wash it. All right, so long story short, um, I'm pissed off my mom because of, first of all, the exhaust noise, and then second of all, I took her car to go get the exhaust gasket when, but she needs to go to the doctor, but I thought, like, I would have enough time, but she likes to be on, uh, early, so I got my car over there, and we're gonna be pulling out that tree. So, I don't like to do a lot of work myself, like uprooting a tree is pretty backbreaking. so I'm just gonna back my car up to the tree and just pull it, and we're, and we're gonna see what happens. All right, so we got all the tools we needed. I'm gonna uproot some trees. Got that good, good. Cheers. Well, you saw it here first, folks. Stan's car just pulled out. 
<laughs> Damn big ass tree! <laughs> oh my god. This thing puts in work. Shit. My mom wanted me to take this whole tree out. I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna break my back over this. I'll just use the car. But I, I didn't tell her I was gonna use the car, so. You guys saw it here first. Uprooted. Oh, shit. Is these plants dead? Fuck. Shit. She wanted me to keep these alive. Oh, they're okay. They're okay. We just need to put a bunch of soil around them. <laughs> Damn, it's gone, bro. Dude, it's gone. It's freaking gone. Hey, MVP right here. Put it in work. All right, we need to get rid of that tree right there too where my finger is. So this is the second tree of the third one we got to pull out. That's what my mom wants. So let's go again and do it. I mean, this is really like unorthodox. So I hope you guys are enjoying this because like, I don't know, I just, it's just weird, but like it does the job. So yeah. <laughs> There's a chance that the tree will hit my car, but eh. So the second tree is out. I just finished my beer. I shouldn't be driving this thing, but it's okay because it's not on the road. Anyways, this tree is out. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it to where the other tree is. Really put in no effort. All I do is just hook up the chains and that's it. I don't have to tire myself out. I got this baby to do it for me. A hey, multi-purpose. People say, you can't drive that. It's not functional. Got him. You're gonna see in the video that it pulled my whole car to the side. I was like, Arr! we don't want any evidence, so we're just gonna sweep it away. Sweep it away. Alright, see? No one has to know. There's no evidence left. Alright, guys. Oh, wait, is it focused? Cool. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a really like, it jumped from one thing to the next, but because I was like, these were the chores I had to do later on in the day. But then like, since I didn't have anything to do with my catalytic converter, cause it was already hollow. I guess all of the ceramic inside just blew out the back when it's like sometime. So I'm not sure when that happened. So I was like, screw it. I'll just include this in the video, you know, like, but hopefully it was entertaining for you guys. It's pretty funny to see this or like watch it happen. Cause like, I don't know, like, I just want to see what happened, you know? Like, you know what's going to happen, but like you want to do it. So then I just did it. Thank you so thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> if you liked the video, please leave a like. Um, if you, uh, I don't know, if you have any suggestions for whatever, leave a comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. My baby right here, MVP. Stance car, but it's still pulling out big old trees. You know, did some mini burnouts, but it's got enough torque. But apparently, since the Kelly converter doesn't have anything inside of it, there's no blockage, there's a lot of flow. So, yeah, this thing is so not gonna pass smog. Like, I need to get a new cat installed, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. <laughs>